Hi, I'm Ashikur Rahman from Accounting Celebrity. Welcome to my channel where I upload accounting tutorials weekly. Today in this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate depreciation using reducing balance method. Okay, so many of you have confusion to calculate depreciation using this method. But it is quite easy if you understand. So today I'll show you how easily you can calculate depreciation. Okay, so no time to waste. Let's get started. So when you calculate depreciation using this method, you make so many mistakes because different year there will be a different amount of depreciation when you use this deducing balance method. Okay, so here what is deducing balance method? You know, the amount of depreciation is reducing balance method is calculated by applying a fixed rate of depreciation on the work value of the asset each accounting period. The reducing method of depreciation also known as declining balance depreciation or diminishing balance depreciation. Okay, in this way, the amount of depreciation each year is less than the amount provided for in the previous year. Okay, so I told you that different year you will have different dep amount of depreciation. So what do you need when you calculate depreciation using this formula? You need the cost value of the asset. Okay, then you need the rate of depreciation. Okay, so this from these two informations you have to calculate depreciation. Okay, so sometime you will have a uh, uh, useful life or expected working life okay expected working life of an asset so when we calculate when you apply the straight method that time we need this expected working life okay but here when we we use a uh, reducing balance method we need just cost of the asset and the rate of depreciation so this item is given here, this information is given here, extra additional information just to confuse you, okay? But you know the procedures, so it will not be a problem for you. Okay, so now I'll show you a question, an example question to calculate this method of depreciation, okay? So have a look at the question on the screen. On 1st January 2021, Sarah Iqbal purchased equipment costing $8,000, okay? The equipment is expected to have a useful life of three years, okay. Its estimated scrap value is $500, okay. So in this question, there is a scrap value, okay. Scrap value, which is $500. So this scrap value has no use when you calculate depreciation using reducing balance method, okay. This is also an extra information in the question so don't be confused okay so have a look at the question once again what is written there calculate the amount of depreciation for each of the three years ending 31st december 2021 22 and 23 using reducing balance method at 60 percent per annum okay so here we have the cost of the asset which we got eight thousand dollars yeah and the rate of depreciation is here 60 percent okay these are only two informations we need to calculate depreciation using this method okay so now we will write the formula to calculate the depreciation so let us calculate depreciation for 31st december 2021 okay so let us write here 31st december 2021 so here first of all we will write the cost we will multiply the cost by the rate of depreciation okay so cost is given here eight thousand dollars okay and the depreciation rate is 60 percent okay so eight thousand multiply by 60 person okay now if we calculate we get here four thousand eight hundred dollars so this is the amount of depreciation we calculate for 31st december 2021 by the way if we subtract the depreciation from the cost of the asset what we get we get net work value okay 
So here if we subtract, we get $3,200, yeah? This is called net book fellow. Okay. So we calculated depreciation for first year, which is 2021. Now we will calculate depreciation for 2022. Okay. So here, 31st December 2022. Okay. So depreciation will be now. We will not take the cost price. Now we will take need for fellow to calculate depreciation for 2022. Okay, so here net for fellow is $3,200. And the rate of depreciation is here 60%. Okay, so let us multiply by 60%. Then if we calculate what we get, we get 1920 dollars okay so this is the amount of depreciation we calculated for 31st december 2022 okay now if we minus this depreciation from the net for fellow which was three thousand two hundred dollars we get one thousand two hundred eighty dollars okay so this is the net for fellow for 2022 Okay, so let us write here net work value. Okay, we calculated for two years. Now the third year, which is 2023. Okay, so let us write here 31st December 2023. 31st December 20. 23 okay now we'll write here depreciation okay so we'll calculate the depreciation on net book value of 2022 which is 1280 so 1280 times 60% okay so if we now multiply what we get we get here 768 dollars okay now if we subtract this depreciation from 1280 dollars we get 512 dollars okay so this is the net book value of Two thousand twenty-three. Okay, so these three years we were required to calculate depreciation. Okay, so have you noticed? So over the period of time, the three years, the amount of depreciation has been reduced. Yeah. Okay, so first year it was forty-eight hundred. Second year it was nineteen twenty. Third year it was seven hundred sixty-eight dollar. Okay. So two things we learned here. First one is how to calculate the depreciation. Second one, how to calculate the net work value, okay? So net work value equal to cost minus amount of depreciation, okay? So this is how you have to calculate depreciation using reducing balance method, okay? Very simple if you understand. So here we calculated for three years. Maybe in exam or test you will have for three years, for four years, for one year, for two years. Okay, it doesn't matter if you know how to calculate this okay and most important there this other information will be given in the question but you will take only the cost price and only the rate of depreciation you will not consider expected working life and the scrap value given in the question these are extra items okay so next time i'll show you some more questions so you practice and you prepare yourself okay so this is all about our today's lesson i hope you understood and you enjoyed this lesson and if you think that this video is helpful for you, please share with your friends. And please consider subscribing because there are so many other video lessons which will help you to prepare yourself to learn accounting, to understand accounting. Okay, so this is all. I'll see you soon with new video. Until then, bye-bye and take care.